We have the answers, guys. We got an electric Jeep that we're putting together right now that will have a range that's phenomenal. How's that? Well, it'll do about 150 for a top end. 150 miles an hour? Yeah, it'll have a range of about at 120 miles, single charge at 70 miles an hour. Okay, well, what about, uh, just real quick, and why? If you, if, you, if you put a hybrid or make it a hybrid, we have the technology to actually give it a 500 mile range on a gallon of gasoline. On a gallon of gasoline. 500 miles. Okay, well, here's my thing is there's people out here, and I, I know that everybody knows this. There's people out that uh, you got these corporations that are trying, you know, to do the green thing. They're trying to put the batteries into the automobiles, batteries into the cars. And they say, I mean, just right now, the technology that we have, it's going to cost uh, consumers anywhere between, you know, $120,000 to $200,000 just for the car itself. And you're saying that you actually have something that's possibly been in production? I mean, are you, do you have the technology? I mean, you have it? We have it right now. You have it right now to where you could put it into an automobile. But what's it going to cost consumers? I mean, we're talking millions of dollars, you know. February 19, 2009, President Obama signed into law that anybody converting or having an electric motor vehicle on the road will get a $7,500 cash rebate on their taxes. So they get money back for uh, what we're purchasing doing. a vehicle that, that, that we, we can read now. We can repower a car with kits, put America to work, and they can repower their existing car that's currently on the road. Get rid of their gas guzzler, get rid of their gasoline that's on there and actually drive their car. How long do you think it'll take for this kind of technology to come I in? Actually, depends on America. The if uh, say somebody contacted you via your site right now, they're watching this and they say, hey, you know, that's a fantastic idea. What do I, how do I do it? How do, what do I do? How, how long is it going to take for you to actually start putting these into production? What do you need? We need money. Money. Money's always good. What we need to do is get the people together. Investors will be good. Once we have cash flow right there, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to turn around and we're going to take and train people to actually install our products. So your local garages will be able to come in, take out your existing gas customer, put it in a big heat for recycling, put in a new drive units inside of there and battery packs and you can run. Once we, we get the regeneration unit perfected 100% and out to the public, there's no reason right now we can't take an electric car and drive from here to Florida and back from Washington to Florida and never stop to recharge. On one charge? Actually, it'll be continuous. Whoa. Power units have a 30-year life, so you can take the power unit, put it into a new vehicle, to a new vehicle, to a new vehicle. So you recycle the power regeneration units. With no plugging in? No. There's no. Think, no. But the thing is, is that we can, we're going to put plugs on it. So that a car can pull into their driveway or pull into their house or into the garage, plug it in to supplement part of their electrical power. Which means supplement to what well, was that like? Yeah, what is that? That means supplement. you're driving a generator on four wheels as you drive to and from work, and at nighttime you're reducing the greenhouse gases because the generation on the grid has dropped down. So now the impact of the environment is even further reduced. You got to remember this boat here because it's full electric, right? His power bill dropped on this boat. He lives in Morty's boat. Power bill actually dropped. That means the greenhouse gases dropped in here because it's generating and using less electricity. So what, what, what do they compensate you for? What, what, what happens? So you plug in your, uh, your automobile that regenerates itself. And what, do you get compensated? Or? They have to pay you back. The law says that for everything that you put back to the grid, they got to pay you. So what happens here is now your car pays you. To own it, so you're paid to own your car. You're paid to own your automobile. That's right. Paid to own your automobile. You generate power back to the grid. Less dams, less hydroelectricity, less fossil fuels, less nuclear power, less pollution. And this can all be done within the next. We can do it now. Right now. Right now. Right now. If you had the people. If you had the people that you could put in. The, in, no. in a, no. We have to get the people together. So the thing is, it's going to take money. We have the technology to do it. We have the knowledge to do it. We're even, we've even got a small shop that now we're moving into a bigger shop that we're going to actually start producing some of these items out of there. 
and it'll be available on the website. Or once we grow big enough, what we want to do is we want to put these in production nationwide and then worldwide. So the so the the uh, addiction to fuel or gasoline and oil is either dramatically reduced or totally eliminated. We can't really totally eliminate it because we use plastics. Plastics come from the ground, they come from oil. Petroleum. Petroleum-based products. Eventually we'll run out of fuel, what are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to have to go to our food sources, making corn oil, making plant-based oils in order to make plant-based plastics, which might not be a bad idea. <laughs> not at all. But very great about it. Very bad. The only other thing is, is that, you know, we got big ships out there, like the Exxon Valdez, that dump all that oil and kill all the wildlife. They're still cleaning up after that. They're still paying the residuals. Yeah, people think that just because it happened 15 years ago that it's a done deal, but they don't realize that it's still, still affecting the ecosystem and everything. Exactly. We're about yeah, out of time. I'm the damage is out. done is done. Now it's time to make the change. So in closing? Our, vice, our former vice president, Al Gore, is on the right track. He's on the right track. The world is dying, and we need to do something now. And it's going to make a difference with us. Our kids will have nothing. There'll be no world to leave our children. It'll be over. It'll be done.